Hello class, today I'm going to give you an overview of the next assignment which is the co-curricular and it's worth 10% and in your Blackboard assignment folder you will find the co-curricular assignment LHA DOCX and once you open that it's going to give you the detailed information about the assignment. You will also find some sample flyers uh, which you can certainly see and try to uh, get help in terms of you getting started the activity that you will create for this particular project. So learning and growth do not only happen in the classroom. And the purpose of this assignment is for you to consider experience that can contribute to your personal growth and development to support your academic and career interest. And this experience is called the co-curricular experience, which can include activities on the campus as well as in your community. So this academic year, I'm introducing you the LaGuardia Humanitarian Initiative, LHI. And LHI is exploring the theme this year, um, the theme of borders, home, and migration. And they're very excited to partner with AMO Alliance, uh, which is NGO, and they raise funds for Rohingya refugee children in Bangladesh whose education has been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. And this is the website. Uh, if you go there, you will find more information in terms of how they uh, gather the funds. The primary aim of this LHI project is to provide opportunities for students to collaboratively inquire about the global issues with faculty and staff across the college from diverse perspectives and integrate interdisciplinary knowledge to offer sustainable solutions for social change. So for more information, you're going to open the Word file and in the word file, it just uh, explains you in details uh, the benefits in terms of like, you know, how the LHI will benefit you. You're going to receive opportunities to explore the theme um, and that will help you to develop skills. You will get a chance to network with nonprofit organizations. You're going to learn more about volunteering and possible internships that may be offered by the NGOs. You will receive a certificate after completing the project. Uh, you will also get a chance to fundraise for communities that have been severely impacted um, by sharing simply uh, the website link in your through social media sites or by creating a flyers or by creating a video. All donors will receive a certificate from the NGO and from LaGuardia and one-on-one -on -one guidance on how to document the LHI experience in your cover letter or a job application, uh, your resume, uh, and even in the transfer processing. You will receive an opportunity to showcase your work and publish your work at the LHI websites. And I will also nominate students who will be able to present um, uh, the class, especially on the final showcase day, which is gonna take place on June 8th. Here are some resources uh, the website address and the um, the AMO uh, Alliance, the LaGuardia Initiative address, how you can share their website links in terms of creating the awareness uh, to gather funds. The sample activities uh, such as the, um, uh, you know, last year's project, which was about South Sudan Water Project. Uh, some students created a video as part of their activities some students created flyers which you will find uh, attached in your um, blackboard assignment deposit folder and there are tutorials uh, there's career specialist the lhi team and you can visit their websites in terms of getting the direct help as well so the very first thing is expected from you is there are three steps that i have explained uh, in this file first is attending the workshop that's something crucial for you to understand the project. Um, you will also receive opportunities to engage with others um, and organizations. And this activities will help you to enhance your college experience and build the skills needed for your current academic and career interest. And during, during these workshops, you will get a chance to work with other students, uh, collaboratively brainstorm, uh, strategies of translating the classroom experience into actions for social change. So here are two 
um, workshops that you need to attend. Uh, these are required workshops. So the first one is the orientation, which is on March 24th. And you can visit one of these, which is 7th, April 7th or April 13th. Um, I will also post the Zoom links. And because everything is online now, so you will get a chance to simply just attend these workshops through Zoom links. And here are other dates for the workshops, which is the action plan starts. And you need to attend any two workshops from these below dates. So again, April 28th, May 5th, uh, 10th or 20th. So please remember the due dates uh, in terms of when is this particular assignment due. And based on that, you will try to attend these workshops and complete the activity. So in these workshops, you will get a chance to complete, uh, I mean, get started working on the activity and complete it. So step two is the reflection plus photo selection. So in these workshops, of course, you will learn about the activity and the project. And that's why I'm asking you to write a reflection. So describe the LHI workshop. These are some prompts that will guide you uh, in terms of creating six or seven sentences, which is about a paragraph. Uh, what did you focus on specifically in this activity? What skills and knowledge have you applied? Uh, what, like, how are these skills and knowledge related to your academic and career interests? Uh, what have you learned from these experiences that you can bring back to the classroom? What marketing strategies? And finally, uh, of course, understand that every uh, dollar counts. If you were able to even collect $5 or even $2, that counts. And that just shows you how you can become a global citizen by participating in such uh, affecting crisis and understanding the, the global issues. The photo prompt will actually uh, here I want you to simply just you know select one or two photos related to the topic and simply just you know copy and paste in your word file and then finally you will also copy and paste the picture of the the activity that you have created by attending the workshops it could be a flyer it could be a video presentation or it could be something else something more creative so I'm not sure what you will be doing and I will leave it up to you. And uh, the final submission is simply posting your final work into your Blackboard assignment folder. Please include the reflection photo and the activity that you have created uh, in the workshop. So keep in mind that you will have to complete the work and you need to post it into your ePortfolio as well as into your Blackboard site. So again, um, in, once you upload it into your Blackboard site, you will get to see the points. Uh, I will give you a grade for that. And based on that, if you need to do any revisions, revise it. And then once uh, completing with the revision, you can upload it into your